Tad Devine. He's an advisor to the Sanders presidential campaign. He joins me now live from Burlington. Tad, um, first of all, has your campaign filed suit yet? My understanding is the court closed nine minutes ago. Uh, well, <clears throat> Jake, I'm, I'm in Vermont. It's my understanding that they were preparing to file suit. I wouldn't be surprised if it's been filed. I just haven't been notified of it yet. All right, so let's just get to what happened. Your campaign has fired a staffer for downloading this information. Why is it the, the position of the Sanders campaign that you're painting yourselves as the victim when you've already, in a way, acknowledged wrongdoing? Sure. Well, Jake, um, it's true. A staffer was fired for doing something wrong. <clears throat> but the remedy imposed here by the Democratic National Committee is extreme. You know, they're trying to shut down the biggest grassroots campaign, I think, that certainly we've seen this year in American politics. We need this information. This is our information. We spent hundreds of thousands of dollars. We gave that to the Democratic National Committee in order to acquire this information. And now, arbitrarily, capriciously, they've shut it down. It's just the remedy that, that they're imposing on us really is a huge overreach, and that's why we're going to court. The DNC says it was multiple staffers from your campaign, not just one who breached the fa faulty firewall. Uh, are they wrong? Was it only one? No, apparently there were four people who looked at it, but there was one, Josh, who was in charge of it, and he was fired immediately. Listen, Jake, we knew so about the, this the other three breach in the firewall. The other three breached it, and they're still working for you? No, no. First of all, let's get the facts straight. We didn't breach anything. A firewall, which is supposed to be imposed, came down. They made the mistake, uh, you know, Van and also the DNC, not us. They exposed information from other campaigns. And by the way, the information from our campaign could have easily and probably was exposed as well. So listen, the other people in the campaign, you know, they'll be dealt with and Jeff is looking into that. But what's important here is when we found out about this nearly two months ago, when uh, Haystack, who does our modeling for us, found out that this information was coming into our possession, we immediately notified the Democratic National Committee of it. And we didn't do what somebody did yesterday or the day before, try to make a big public story about this. We let them know it had happened. We acted in good faith. We were very responsible about it. And they assured us in the aftermath of that, that these firewalls, which protect our data, the data we paid for, were being imposed again, but it, and apparently they didn't get the job done. They've really, you know, made a big mistake here. They've exposed our data, and, and obviously the data of the Clinton campaign as well. Well, this so is they're the obviously ones who made the mistake, and they need to clean it up. To use Debbie Wasserman Schultz, uh, the chair of the DNC, is to use her metaphor. Um, obviously, the locks on the door were broken, and that's the fault of the people who put them in. But that doesn't mean sure. your staffers had the right to walk into the house and take stuff. That, and that's why a staffer, the director, was fired, Jake. And I'll tell you something else. We told them months ago that their locks are broken, okay? <laughs> I mean, we've been trying to work this out with them. We've been trying to tell them this stuff. But unfortunately, they have acted irresponsibly, but first of all, by, you know, having these firewalls that should be there, not be there to protect our data. And secondly, by overreacting, grossly overreacting, they're shutting down our campaign. And we're not going to let them do it. And if anybody thinks Bernie Sanders is going to let the establishment, the political establishment, or anybody else do something like this to him. Let me tell you something. They do not know Bernie Sanders. Well, I, I, I respect the attempt to jujitsu here and, and turn this into something where, where you guys are the victims. But, uh, you know, it was your campaign that actually peeked into the information from what Jeff Zeleny has been reporting. Uh, the, sure. the staffer was not just, like, looking to see what could be happening to you guys, but actually trying to get information, trying to find out what the Clinton campaign's turnout projections were, uh, how many people over 60 and under 30 uh, the Clinton campaign had identified. I mean, this is information. Do you have that information that was unethically obtained? No, we do not. And we've made that clear publicly. Jeff said in his press conference a few hours ago, listen, uh, you know, uh, he made a mistake and he was fired. And then the Democratic National Committee made a much bigger mistake. They compounded it. They made it much worse. Listen, Jake, for months we've known what's been going on with the Democratic National Committee. We're having a debate on the Saturday night before Christmas. I don't think that was chosen to have the maximum viewership, okay? I mean, listen, we've tried to cooperate, but if they're going to do this to us, we're going to stand up publicly and we're going to tell the people what's going on. Now, they need to stop it. We just want to talk to voters. I can understand being concerned that Bernie Sanders is doing so well in New Hampshire, so well in Iowa, that we received the endorsement 
yesterday from one of the biggest international unions, the communication workers of America, mm -hmm. that we received other, you know, Democracy for America, a huge progressive organization endorses. We got over two million contributions to our campaign. All that happened yesterday. Right. And I can understand people being concerned about his progress. But, you know, to do this to us now, so close to the Iowa caucuses, is wrong. Okay? They just need to recognize that. Let us have access to the data. We'll figure out who did what. We'll be very transparent about it. And if they want a court discovery process to figure out what happened, we welcome it. Tad, we welcome the transparency. Is there any chance that Senator Sanders would run as an independent for president, given the feelings you have about how you've been treated by the DNC? No, no, he will not. And he will not do that because he's not going to try to help a Republican become the next president of the United States. That's why Bernie decided to run within the Democratic process. He has acted in extraordinary good faith, and the Democratic National Committee should do the same for him. All right, Tad Devine, we appreciate you coming and taking the questions. Thanks so much.